All right. Uh, so this is a hand. This hand is, I would I would hesitate to say great, but it's you know playable. So I will keep this. I'm probably playing Smuggler's Copter, Old Smuggy's turn two. If I draw a second white mana, I could just pump Champion to uh, three. That would be fine. Also, well, I'm getting a lot of good cards. I need one more land, preferably a white. And to see what my opponent's up to. They have nothing. Hmm, interesting. Welp, that's a little awkward. I really need a one more white mana to make this hand work well. turn he has oh raise the alarm that's not a bad card I'm surprised I'm very surprised they didn't just block me there I guess he's white black tokens uh he could beat me here I could see that happening he goes uh, he goes aggro interesting sure don't think I mind that at all please draw a white mana I mean, if I draw a white mana, what do I even do? I think I go champion student or something. Or maybe champion war weeper. Probably champion war weeper, honestly. Draw another one of those. So, interesting question. What I do here. I think I play Parish. Then go to the skies. He paths it. Sure. Well, that does get me the land I was looking for, at least. Get another planes. And I'll attack on in. Fortunately, I can't play the second Smuggler's Copter here, but that's not the end of the world. Uh, next turn, I very well might Student plus Copter, or or War Reaper plus Copter, one of the two. Probably, again, probably War Reaper plus Copter, but I don't, I don't know 100%. Lingering Souls, sure. Swings on in. I could trade pretty aggressively here. I mean, I could reflect the token, that wouldn't be bad. Then swing it for five. It doesn't. Yeah, that doesn't feel terrible either. I guess. Probably stronger to either go Wool Reaper Student and just pass like that, or go. I think Wool Reaper Smuggler's Copter is just better. Um, that doesn't do anything. Oh, it got it. Has to. I have to click the ones under it before it realizes it doesn't do anything. All right. I think I will attack here, and if he wants to double block champion, it sucks, but I think I'm okay with that. He doesn't even doesn't double block or single block. Okay, Smuggler's Copter coming out. Pass turn. And in his attack step, I will probably crew up Smuggler's Copter if he attempts to attack. He has so many non-basics that Isolated comes in tapped. Intangible Virtue is pretty good. Attacks all. I mean, maybe he has the path for it, but I still think it's worth trying to fire it up and block. The blocks, blocks, flying token. Wait to loot. Let's draw a discard. Um, I think I'm going to discard the Sky Knight. I think I actually do want the land. Passes, my turn. Drew a land anyway, so it didn't end up being important. Student of Warfare. Collector Mage. And he scoops. Alright, so got their game one against uh, white black tokens of some kind. Uh, seemed good, but was playing a little bit from behind due to some things. 
Uh, I think Meddling Mage definitely comes in, although what comes out is the tricky part. I, I like almost every card in here. I guess the Sky Knights were a little medium. I think I want Disenchants too, but just for Intangible Virtue. And I, given that he's a budget deck, I doubt he's running Bitter Blossom, but if he is running Bitter Blossom, it's really nice to have for that too. But Intangible Virtue is just a very strong card, especially against my deck. But yeah, this doesn't block very well because this is a 3-1, and yeah, I just don't don't like that one. Um, don't think anything else is worth it. I could take out Brave the Elements, which is what I often do in these cases, but Brave the Elements actually feels pretty good here. Uh, I could go down a couple, gather the Townsfolk, that's probably fine. I do like uh, Thalia here because he has a lot of non-creature spells. Reflector Mage isn't great, but it does permanently kill a token, so like a 2-3 kill a token is not terrible. I'm going to go down to 3 of an Inspector, I think. Um, yeah, let's try it like that. Meddling Mage will probably name uh, <laughs> Lingering Souls, because <laughs> you, you can play that on both sides, but maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, this looks like a keep. It doesn't look amazing, but I think it is good enough. Some question. Uh, the obvious. The first play is obvious. The first play is champion. And there's some question about the second play. I kind of want to do copter, but it is a little slower. Um, what I'm gonna do is well, maybe I would. Do, maybe I should do copter first because it's hard. So this would slow down copter by a bunch, but it also, if he doesn't play it immediately, keeps him from. He has so much. Instant speed stuff, or rather, instant sword, not creature spells. I think I'm just gonna Thalia here. I think that's gonna be hard for him. I mean, it's hard for the Smuggler's Copter for me, but whatever. I'll play the Smuggler's Copter down eventually. So he does nothing. Um, now I feel pretty safe swinging in. I mean, he could, he could have a path or something, but he does. He double he double taps the path. Sure, that gets me ahead on mana, which is really good here, and it means I can play the Smuggler's Copter next turn. So I think I'm okay with that. Draw. Um, one. Two. Now he's a four for me, so he can swing it already. And yeah, I think I, I think I'll put in a good old smuggler's copter. Swing in with my four four. You could chump block here. You can't kill it because even blocking with all three wouldn't kill it. But he, he might be in a position where he wants to start chumping things. Nope, he just takes. Goes to 14. I mean, I think taking there is the right decision. That's probably what I would have done, too. Let's see what he decides to do here. Another Spectral Procession. So he has a lot of tokens. Combat. Does he attack? No attacks. Sure. That seems fine. I wonder if he has a path. To. Well, I can do it all, so I guess I will. Uh, I guess I can't do it all. I can't crack the clue. I think I'm going to do everything but crack the clue. So I think I throw an inspector, because I think I want this guy to be a 6-6. Six, six. So that he, if he's blocking him, he's basically chumping him. And I think I want this guy to be a 3-3 three, three first strike. And if he wants to double block this guy, I think I'm going to be fine with just trading with the spirit token here. Um, yeah, let's put this down. Uh, one, two, I will crew this thing up. Okay. I guess I won't bother using its ability. Maybe I should have done it. Maybe I should have done it slightly differently. Yeah, swing in. Nope, no need to no need to loot here. How does he block? Double blocks that, that's fine. Triple blocks that. I'm totally okay with that. And then single blocks that, takes three. Sure, that sounds good. So you're left with one spirit token. Totally okay with that trade. 
and I have a whole lot of guys left. So that seems like a fine trade for me. He has Lingering Souls. Does he have an extra mana this turn so he can flash it back next turn? He can't chump for a long time. Um, he does, so he's probably gonna... No, maybe not. Maybe he has something else he wants to do. Maybe he has... Uh, well, we'll find out. Well, that was a good draw. I'm gonna play down Thalia's Lieutenant. So, make all my guys bigger. Um, yeah, he scoops. Good! Got there! Beat a white black tokens list. Uh, not a totally optimal white black tokens list, but sweet. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time. Hey guys, Bobgar here. I just really wanted to quickly say, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you enjoy my content in general and would like to see more of it, subscribe. I'll be coming out with more content in the future. And please leave me comments and let me know what I'm doing right, what I'm doing wrong, both in terms of production and in terms of my play and my deck building and all that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I will see you guys next time.